What if you think that you came into being by chance, that all human beings are here by chance? We came from some primeval uh, mud puddle there. We came here by chance. By chance, something that was inorganic became organic by chance. If you believe that you're here by chance, or if you're here because you have been designed by a designer, what a difference, by design or chance. That makes all the difference in the world and how we make decisions every day of our life. What's right, what's wrong, what will work, what will not work. And these are faith decisions. So faith is reason. Reason. The idea to say, well, you know, I don't have faith that you have in the church. Uh, with people here who are not Christians, somebody stand up and tell how Jesus Christ came in their life and changed everything, gave them a fresh new beginning, a new outlook on life, and there's a freshness there they've never found. Somebody's not a Christian, say, boy, you know, I wish I could believe that, but I don't have enough faith. If somebody from Mars came down to this earth and we explain to them about procreation, how we cooperate with God and produce life, and the Marsden would say, I, I, I can't even imagine that. We procreate by the exchanging of earwax. <laughs> they, they, I have no frame of reference. You see, we think people who see someone who comes to Christ have a new life, they back up and say, I have no frame of reference for that. I wish I had faith like that. We all have the same amount of faith, ladies and gentlemen. It's just what we put our faith in. And when someone puts their faith into something other than Jesus Christ, and that occup occupies the core and the center of their life, therefore, it's no wonder that they have trouble believing. We all have the same amount of faith. Oh, and we have the same progressiveness. This is development from reason to belief to commitment and then to certainty. That's how it works.